Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at The Avengers War Across Time, Issue 4. This is a mini-series from Marvel Comics written by Paul Levitz, art by Alan Davis, color art by Rochelle Rosenberg, letters by VCs Corey Pettit, cover by Alan Davis and Carlos Lopez, assistant editor was Martin Biro, associate editor Annalise Bissa, edited by Tom Brevoort. Now the Avengers are fighting the Lava Men, but the King of the Dwarves has taken Thor's hammer. Now he's going to revert back to Don Blake if he doesn't get the hammer back soon. So he has to make a getaway because nobody knows that he's secretly Don Blake. So while Thor is missing in action, the others try and go after the Lava Men. Kang, however, is in the far future conquering another planet and his machinations are coming into full progress and he is planning on scooping up the Avengers when they're seemingly most in trouble. But the Avengers are pretty crafty and they're fighting these Lava Men off. Thankfully, Thor shows up again to help out and we are left with a cliffhanger ending that looks Looks like Thor might be preoccupied and the Avengers are going to face Kang. I really like this book. This is fantastic. This takes me back to a much better time in comic books when they were fun, lighthearted, not super serious, and full of adventure. And not a bunch of boring political crap or talking and eating. This is by far Marvel's best book out on the stands now. So if you could pick this up and you're looking for an adventure story, this is it. Especially with the Avengers in their more classic era in the early Silver Age. I think you'll really like this. If you like anything from the Silver Age to the Copper Age, I think you're really going to like this. It's got a fun story, it's not real super deep, and it is really, really fun. Just lots of adventure, lots of action, and it's very well written and drawn. Everything about this book works out. The art is fantastic, the coloring is fantastic, that cover is awesome. I had so much fun reading this book. It really made me nostalgic for some old-time Avengers books, so maybe I'll go back and reread some of those maybe next year. But in the meantime... I am absolutely going to recommend this. This is by far one of the best books out there and probably Marvel's best book. I hope they have a sequel because I would absolutely buy it. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links are in the description to various support methods. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.